Hello everyone and in this video I would like to show you an extremely beautiful, a very interactive chess problem composition and endgame study by Samir Badolov uh, who was an Azerbaijani chess problem composer, chess player and he is considered as one of the greatest chess trainers of Azerbaijan. And uh, he made this study in 2002 and he was born in 1962 and he passed away at the early age of 49 in 2011. So, okay, uh, this is probably not very well known chess problem composition and this is his picture. He was also a chess player. So, it is white to move and win. What would you do in this position? Well, the first move is actually pretty obvious. White plays knight to f5 and white is threatening to push the pawn and then black has to give up the rook. Uh, this is also attacking the rook, of course. So, rook takes on e6, what else? And then it is white to move. Did you see the purpose of moving the knight to f5? Which, uh, what was the purpose? Did you see why uh, white is moving his knight uh, to f5 and letting rook takes pawn? So, did you see the best move in this position for white? If I give you a few seconds, can you guess the next move of white? Because this move is very important. This is the critical moment of the puzzle. You should never miss the next move of white. Okay, so this is the move. Knight to h6. And sacrificing the knight and also threatening checkmate. Knight to f7. And in this position, there is no good defense for black. We see this desperate move by black. But let's take it back and let's check out other possibilities. If capturing the knight, then pushing the pawn and getting checkmated. G7, check, mate. So black can't capture the knight, of course. If rook to b6, if doing nothing, then knight to f7 is getting checkmated. There is no escape. So did you see knight to h6? This was a very important move. So it looks like black is helpless. In this position, black has to sacrifice the rook. And if capturing the pawn again, eh, this is going to be checkmate. Okay, so knight to h6, rook to e8, capturing the rook, and then capturing the knight. But this time, white is pushing the pawn and knight is coming for the rescue. b7, only one move left, but black is checking the king. And now what would you do? Where is the king going? King to d7, king to d8, or king to f8? The correct answer is of course king to d8, letting knight takes pawn with check. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Uh, of course it is king to f8. Uh, and with this move, actually black resigns because uh, the knight is overloaded and Black Knight uh, basically can't defend both threats at the same time. So White is threatening to push the pawn, checkmate, and at the same time threatening to push the pawn and promoting the Queen. And Black can't deal both of the threats at the same time. So capturing the pawn and then pushing the pawn, checkmate. And a very beautiful, fantastic chess problem composition. Very simple, but also very interactive. So, rest in peace to Samir Badolov. Uh, again, he is considered as one of the greatest chess, uh, chess trainers of Azerbaijan. And Azerbaijan, of course, is a chess country. So, thank you so much again. And I hope to see you next time. So, take care and bye-bye.